Hi, I'm Samantha Jewell. I write books on solutions to climate change. I became interested because my family came from the background of farming, four generations of farming in the Midwest America during the time of the Dust Bowl. In 98 when I had children I had some problems with the birthing and then at about the same time the awareness of mad cow came out. I had this bucolic image of, I'm sure most people did in England, of green grasses and happy cows and here they were feeding cows meat themselves in fact causing tremendous brain disease and we started thinking well what are they doing to our food sources here if they could do that in England. So we started introducing organics because the more we looked at what was going on the more there was this awareness that there was this disconnect. And the biodynamic principle is about the soil and getting the carbon in the soil which is where we're connecting this idea and this awareness of the climate and the food that you eat. That the, the farmer actually puts time into developing the soil to make the food nutritious. So the connection between food and nutrition is the carbon. So somewhere along the middle of that, about 2005, when I was studying and studying and doing all this stuff with organic agriculture, Tim Flannery came out and said, you know, you guys, organic industry, are the single greatest solution to the climate. So it might come from a point of health, but serendipitously it also happens to connect with what's going on with our climate and the one thing we can actually do to correct it is farm it back into the land. Christine Jones, who was being employed by Rita Tinto at the time, she came up with um, this statistic that it was only a 1.5% increase in topsoil over 15 million hectares to soak up the entire planet's gigatons of eight gigatons. But it seemed as though the information was just in this little group and I thought this needed to be for the general public. What I saw your books doing, particularly Elegant Solutions, was that it provided a wonderfully um, comprehensive and, and simple way of thinking about sustainability. My name is uh, Jerry Zhang, you know, it's, uh, I'm teaching at uh, RMIT University in Australia. Also, I'm a practitioner of acupuncture and uh, Chinese medicine. Yeah, I'm really, really pleased with, uh, you know, the Samantha is uh, published this, uh, you know, it's a series of these uh, books. Samantha's book make you thinking, you know, differently. What I'm trying to do here is show you why what you eat actually will change the climate. If you really want to do something for the climate, move towards climate food that is for the climate, which is anything that's been from a farming protocol that puts carbon in the soil. So what I believe is the key issue occurring across the world is a disconnect. We're disconnected from the food we eat. We're disconnected from each other. We're disconnected as families, we're disconnected from our internal self, we're disconnected. And what I realise is that I'm about connection, so I hope that I bring my journey and connect with you in some way. Look, I hope you get round to reading them, they're my gift to you to hopefully bring about an awareness of why what you eat can change the climate. <laughs>